Hi, I'm Frank Vargas and my company is Westboard Apparatus. What we're going to show you today here on this YouTube video is the new product from Cutler Hammer. This is the LG Frame. Here's the frame. Now, what we're going to do is uh, slip the frame out of the carton. These are some mounting screws. These are some simple instructions that come with the package that's sometimes useless. And uh, here's where the trip will be installed to the, uh, to the load side of the breaker. Now on this side here, what we have are two uh, optional trip units. Actually there's more amperages, but in this case here, what we're going to show you is a, uh, a thermal magnetic trip unit. And in this cart here, we have an electronic unit. And the electronic usually uh, provide for a different function, adjustable function. As you can see here, we're going to zoom in and uh, you can take a look at, uh, at the adjustments provided with this electronic trip unit. Are we good? All right. So that's the electronic one. Now this is the conventional ones that are commonly used and have been used uh, historically since the beginning of circuit breakers which are the thermomagnetic type of uh, trip units. And these mainly just have an instantaneous adjustment. Let's see, do I have it right? Yeah. These have an instantaneous adjustment only. Now what we're going to try to do here is, uh, is examine the, the trip unit. Uh, these trip units uh, are installed in a very different way uh, than the conventional uh, C series or series C uh, circuit breakers from Color Hammer. Um, so we're going to cut away right now, get some tools, and then come back and, and get the installation. Hi, I'm back now. What we're going to do uh, is insert the uh, thermal magnetic trip unit into the case here. Now this is a little different, whereas um, as you can see, there are some screws right here. These are the screws that uh, that will uh, bind or, or screw down the trip unit against. Uh, the, the metal here that's the conducting elements. So here's where the, the terminals face out. We're going to slip it in. Now we're going to be using this tool here. This tool is just a flat uh, spade type of, of uh, uh, a tool that we use for any application. And this, <clears throat> this little red button, we're going to hold it down because when we insert it into the case, it, 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 it usually snags uh, on, the, on the center mechanism. So this enables us to just get a smooth entry and, and to seat the, seat the trip unit. As you can see, it's starting to bind right there. Okay, now, we've shown you the uh, hex bit and the access points that's unique to the system. So we're gonna, what we need to do now is, uh, is remove the lid. Okay, we've taken out two, four, six, eight screws off the lid as the screws uh, are coming out, the, you'll hear the, the trip itself, the mechanism kind of like uh, release. Okay, so now we're at a point where we're going to get the trip, terminals facing the outside of the breaker. We're going to slip it in and sneak it in this way. Now here, there's a little red knob that sticks out. We need to uh, depress that with this little spatula tool that we use as a shoehorn here. And we're going to depress it and then slide the unit in and it's seated. That's simple. Now it's just pressed into position. As you can see the edges of the frame, uh, you know that the trip is, a, is near its, its seat in point. <clears throat> now, what we're going to do now is get the hex bit and go underneath the terminals and then we're going to tighten, hand tight, until it's pretty firm each phase. And what we'll do here is I'll just do the center one just to kind of demonstrate. So we'll say that that's in. Uh, we'll get the lid, put it right back on, and for the sake of uh, demonstration here, what I'm going to do is uh, just put a couple of screws down. And don't torque these screws. These screws are not to be torqued too, too, uh, too tightly. Uh, you can just you know mess up the heads on the screw. Uh, and then you'll just have problems in the future when you want to install uh, other accessories. Okay, so now that we got this, uh, what's left is uh, we're going to put it in the opposition, reset, and then it's on. So, 
That's installing the trip unit. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the trip unit, and uh, sometimes that could be even more tricky. Okay, now what we're going to do is uh, remove the trip since we just uh, installed it. Um, so we removed the screws. Uh, just I just actually just put a couple of screws in. I removed a few already. Take the lid off, and uh, we go back underneath on these uh, access ports that are underneath the terminal. I've loosened up the trip unit. Now these, it's important to understand that these screws at the bottom here do not come out. They, all they do is they come out to, to, a, to a certain level to create a, a loosened position so that the, uh, uh, the trip unit itself has a little saddle. Here's one here. Uh, it, it has like a, it's an open, so it just saddles the bolt that doesn't go through. So this is important to understand. So the screws do not have to come all the way out of the frame. They just got to get loose enough to uh, let the, allow the, the, the trip. Now the trip will just come right out. Just sh kind of shake it a little bit and there you go. It's out. And the screws remain inside. Now these little cups here that you see uh, are ports, are docking ports uh, for accessories like shunt unit trips, auxiliaries. So when you uh, uh, insert, insert a device, they're modular, they just slip in and they, they come with tags and they'll, and they'll be explained as to what voltages they're going to operate with. And these are, are uh, again, just uh, docking ports for the accessories. Um, so the electronic trip unit in itself it installs the same way. So there you have it. Uh, you can install uh, how to install the trip units in the new LG frames for Color Hammer. Uh, we hope that this is going to be helpful because uh, it is a little tricky. Thank you so much for watching this video about the LG breakers. This is a new model. This is going to be replacing uh, the KD frames, uh, the JDs. So there's a variety of these uh, LGHs, LGCs. They have uh, electronic uh, trips. They have thermomagnetic trips. Uh, and all these will be available. And uh, the other models are, are going to be phased out. So we hope that uh, you enjoyed this video. And, and just remember, Westport Apparatus is the best company in the circuit breaker business. Thank you.